Today we're going to talk about working with dates and times on computers. Over the course of the semester, we're going to be working with a lot of time series data. We spend a lot of time in ecology in particular thinking about spatial data and the challenges of working with spatial data and communicating spatial data, lats and longs and different projections. It can seem counterintuitive that dates and times should be so challenging for a computer. We deal with dates and times all the time, unlike spatial data where we're often not talking about spatial coordinates with each other. Dates and times are things that we talk about every day, but the way a computer thinks about a date and time and the way a human being thinks about a date and time are actually a little different, and that can cause some problems. We're gonna start our, our tutorial sessions for the semester exploring some of the challenges of dates and times and how to make that easier. So let's start by exploring one of the reasons that dates and times can be challenging for computers. So let's think about all the different ways that we might record a date. My iPad has a suggestion to start with. Let's go with its suggestion, aug 21 comma 2020, which is what it's showing up here in the upper left-hand corner. Perfectly legitimate way to save a date, but I can write that same date in a variety of different ways. Let's see, uh, I could lengthen the month from its abbreviation, I could, drop the comma. I could write the day in front. I could write it numerically. 8, 21, 2020. I could want to make sure that everything has at least two digits or that everything does indeed have two and only two digits. I could decide I don't like the slashes which are commonly used but not necessary. I could decide I prefer dashes. I could decide I'd rather have a dot. I could do all of these with the full year instead of the two digit year. Every single one of these is a legitimate way that someone could write a date down. It is a legitimate way that somebody could store a date in a database. And when we see one of these dates, we understand exactly where in the calendar it is and what we expect to see before and after it. To a computer, these look different and they would be treated differently. One of the primary challenges of working with dates is how do you keep information that's being stored that the computer doesn't understand. 